Well, typically when I'm explaining what I'm doing, I'll say, oh, I am solving this equation. And then the question is, well, what does it mean? Are you finding a number? And this is actually a fantastic question and I rarely know how to answer it. Hi, my name is Nuria. My name is Gol. My name is Harley Scammell and I'm working in the Future Low Energy Electronic Technology Centre of Excellence. Uh, the theme and the goal of the Centre of Excellence that I'm working in is to making low energy devices that could benefit the future technologies. Low energy electronics in this sense means electronics without so much heat dissipation, removing energy waste in information technology. The goal, as far as I see it, is to construct idealised materials and systems that can support this behaviour. These devices can be made if electrons travel in a material only in one direction without facing any kind of uh, resistance or scattering in their bath at room temperature. So I'm a theoretical physicist and I work in condensed matter theory. So my work mainly involves predicting in idealised settings which properties of a system can produce some novel uh, physical phenomena and then and we can hand this up the chain to the experimentalists and the material scientists to try and isolate this particular experimental handle. I'm working in Fleet Research Team 1 topological insulators and enabling technology B nano device fabrication. My research describes how can we control the ferromagnetism of one of the most promising ferromagnetic materials. I'm making low energy devices using novel materials in the field of condensed matter physics. General research that we're doing in this lab is that we're growing uh, atoms in ultra high vacuum system. We're basically layering atoms layer by layer in UH3, which they are extremely air sensitive. I'm making new devices using new materials that could make your life much easier in future. What is the best part of being involved in a center of excellence? By far, it's just that you have a broader community to access immediately. Researchers from different disciplines can work together closely with capability to share some facilities, training, ideas, resources, and so on. I'm encouraged to work with experimentalists and material scientists. They just bring us all together under one umbrella and it, and it refocuses what, what projects I'm working on. Um, it's actually, it's really nice. Apart from science, I'm passionate about hiking, nature. Trying to relax at home, maybe getting in the ocean. I love reading and I love watching uh, some documentaries on TV. If I travel anywhere in the world, I will go back home to Iran so that I could, I could visit my family. In New Zealand, because it is the closest to Australia. Definitely I'd go to Italy, the Amalfi coastline. And I could just be sipping on a little espresso shot, getting a nice pizza. The favorite film is Agora. It came from a true story, talking about uh, a woman. She was a philosopher in physics, mathematics, and astronomy. She was struggling to save science and knowledge in the fourth century of Roman Egypt. Maybe Inception. It is anything that Christopher Nolan does. He employs physicists uh, to discuss with him the nature of time and space, and he incorporates that, and it's scientifically correct what he does, and it's just really interesting. 